What's going on everybody? Kleepus Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G and the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Now I know what some people might be thinking, how can you compare a really affordable entry-level 5G phone to a much more expensive, pretty much flagship phone? But in 2023, as we're starting to see more and more affordable options for 5G phones, if you're new to the 5G world, you might be trying to decide whether or not you should get a more affordable option like the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, or if it's worth spending the extra money and getting something like the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE instead. So in this video, we're going to go over the similarities and differences between the two to help you decide which phone makes the most sense for you. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, and in case you want to learn more about either phone individually, I will be linking to several other videos about each of them in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So starting off with the displays, with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we're getting a really large 6.82 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 263, and an aspect ratio of 20 and a half by nine. With the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, we're getting a 6.4 inch 120 hertz dynamic AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 411, and an aspect ratio of 20 by nine. So clearly here, when it comes to size and dimensions, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro actually does have quite an advantage. At 6.82 inches, it's definitely a lot larger, and with a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio, we're getting a slightly taller and more narrow form factor. So if you're doing something like watching a video in landscape mode, for example, you're going to get a more immersive experience. And for stuff like reading, web browsing, social media, stuff like that, with a taller and more narrow form factor, you'll be able to fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. Now that being said, on the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE does have much better image quality. And this is really not a small difference either. First of all, with a 1080p resolution versus only 720p, the image on the S21 FE is going to be a lot sharper. And with the dynamic AMOLED display, it's going to be quite a bit brighter. And the view Viewing angles are a lot better with the S21 FE, so if you're outside in the sun a lot, for example, keep in mind, the S21 FE is going to be a lot easier to see. In addition to this, the colors and just overall image quality on the S21 FE just look a lot nicer, so if you're doing stuff like watching videos and playing games, although having a larger display is still nice for that kind of thing, I feel like the image quality with the S21 FE is honestly so much better that it really makes up for that difference. And with the S21 FE, again, we are getting a 120Hz refresh rate versus only 60Hz with the Revel 6 Pro, and this is going to make the movement on the screen a bit faster and smoother, so the S21 FE is going to feel a lot more premium to use. So between the two for what they are, neither phone has a bad display, but I would say in general, if you're primarily doing stuff like watching videos, playing games, maybe using a lot of social media, stuff where the image quality really matters, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, despite being significantly smaller, is going to be a much better choice just because the image looks so much better. On the other hand though, if you're doing stuff like reading and web browsing, where you don't necessarily need the best looking image, but you want things to be a bit larger and easier to see, then in that case, the size advantage we get with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro will make this phone a much better choice. Now for storage, both phones are getting 128GB of internal storage storage. But keep in mind, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does have microSD card expansion, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE doesn't. So as far as the storage goes, that's really the only difference here. But in my opinion, for the average user, I feel like you're probably not going to actually need a microSD card, unless you're taking a lot of photos, recording lots of videos, stuff like that. But even then, even nowadays in 2023, 128GB is still a pretty good amount of storage. So even if you get the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, even without microSD card expansion, you're probably still going to be completely fine. But of course, if you're used to using a microSD card and you really don't want to lose that that feature, then in that case, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is probably going to be a better choice for you. For security features, both phones do have face unlock, and they both have fingerprint scanners as well. With the Revel 6 Pro, it's right here on the power key, and with the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, it's right here in the display. Personally, I don't really have a preference either way. I think both spots are perfectly fine, but I guess if you want your phone to look and feel a little bit more premium, then the in-display fingerprint scanner is definitely going to be better. But in general, honestly, having a fingerprint scanner on the power key is so practical that I really don't think anyone could go wrong with this either. But with that being said, starting with the Revel 6 Pro, let's go ahead and give them a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the S21 FE. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, both phones do have face unlock too, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we got a water drop notch for the front facing camera. This camera is 16 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a quad camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. For video, this phone has a max recording quality of 2K in the rear camera and 1080p in the front. With the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, we got a hole punch design for for the front facing camera, so this one definitely looks a little bit more premium. This camera is 32 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 12 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And for video, this phone has a max recording quality of 4K in both the rear and front cameras. So there are a couple things I want to go over here. 
First of all, despite not having a macro camera with the S21 FE, with the telephoto lens, in my experience, this phone still can get close-up detailed images. In addition to this, although the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro has a 50 megapixel main camera versus only 12 megapixels with the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, don't let that fool you. Despite this, the photo quality with the S21 FE is still going to be massively better. Because remember, despite not being the absolute top of the line, especially in 2023, almost a year after it was originally released, compared to something really entry-level like a T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, this is still technically a flagship phone and the hardware in general is quite a bit better. So between the two, if you want the best photo quality, then definitely no question, the S21 FE is going to be better in every way, not to mention the video quality, being able to record in 4K at 60 frames per second, whereas with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, this phone can only record in 2K. So if you're maybe more of a content creator, for example, then between the two, I would definitely recommend going with the S21 FE. That being said though, for more casual use, the S21 FE, while having significantly better quality, is honestly going to be quite a bit more than you need. And if you're just taking a couple photos here and there, maybe like a couple Instagram photos and that's pretty much it, in that kind of situation, Keep in mind, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does still have pretty much all the features, including an ultra-wide camera and a macro camera, so it can still do everything, and the quality on this phone, while definitely not being flagship level, is still really not bad. So the bottom line here is, if you do want the absolute best quality, and taking photos is maybe more of an important part of your life, the S21 FE will be a much better choice. But if you just want to take a couple nice photos here and there, and you don't need the absolute best quality, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro will be just fine. Now when it comes to RAM and processor, with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we're getting 6GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor. With the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, we're also getting 6GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G processor. Now this is another area where the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is honestly in a completely different level. With this phone, despite not being the absolute fastest phone you can get, you are definitely going to get a flagship level experience here. So if you're doing more demanding activities, like high performance mobile gaming for example, or maybe you're just going to be on your phone all the time, in that kind of situation, you are going to get a much better experience with the S21 FE. But on the other hand, with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, the performance we're getting here is really not bad at all. And for more basic daily activities like web browsing, social media, stuff like that, despite not being nearly as fast as the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, for those more basic activities, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is honestly going to get the job done just fine. So if you are more of a heavy user and you are going to be on your phone all the time doing more demanding activities, then yeah, in that case, you may want to consider going with the S21 FE. But for everyone else, if you are more of a casual light user and you're not really doing a ton on your phone on a daily Daily basis, then in that case, chances are the T Mobile Revel 6 Pro is going to be just fine. Now I did run Geekbench 5 benchmark tests on both phones, and here are the scores I got. So again, as you can see, quite a big difference here, but what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and comparing your results to these, and that's going to give you a better idea of which phone is going to be a more appropriate upgrade for you. You might find that while the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE obviously is the faster of the two, the T Mobile Revel 6 Pro might be a good enough upgrade already. Now for the battery, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro actually has a bit of an advantage here. With this phone, we're getting a 5000mAh battery that supports 15W fast charging versus a 4500mAh battery that supports 25W fast charging with the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Now granted, the S21 FE does have much better fast charging, but in general, I feel like if the battery is really a main priority for you, the battery life overall is probably going to be a bit more important. And in that case, again, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro with a 5000mAh battery versus 4500 is going to be noticeably better. Now sure, it's not going to be like a night and day kind of difference, but in my experience, the battery life is better on the Revel 6 Pro, so definitely keep this in mind. In addition to this, both phones do have wireless charging, so if you do want that feature, you're not going to go wrong either way. Now another thing to consider here is the software. With the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, technically as of the recording of this video, the phone in my hand still has Android 12, but I haven't even checked for an update yet, and my A53 5G actually does have Android 13, so considering this phone is higher end, and it is a Samsung after all, you can pretty much count on it getting not only Android 13, but also several other major updates in the future. On the other hand, with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, while this phone does have Android 12, which really isn't that bad, when it comes to these branded carrier phones, I'm not really sure what the software is like, but compared to something like Samsung, that's going to get something like like five years of updates, if having the latest version of Android is important to you, I would definitely go with the Galaxy S21 FE for this. But in general, if you're not too concerned about the software, then again, keep in mind, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does at least have Android 12, which in my opinion, especially considering this is more of an entry-level phone, really isn't bad at this point. In addition to this, both phones do have NFC, so if you like to make contactless mobile payments using Tap and Pay, you'll be happy to know, either phone can do this. But in conclusion, while it's pretty clear that between the two, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is the better device here, being significantly higher end, having a much better display, better camera, better performance, and better features overall. Despite all this, it's really not going to make the most sense for everyone. Because in general, if you're really just looking for an entry-level 5G phone that's a bit more affordable, and you're really only doing more basic activities like web browsing, social media, streaming content like videos and music every now and then, and maybe you want to get decently nice photos, but you're not a content creator, and you don't really need the absolute best pictures you can get, in that kind of situation, the T-Mobile 
Mobile Revel 6 Pro, especially considering this is really only a $200 phone, is honestly going to get the job done just fine. And again, this phone does have micro SD card expansion, a slightly larger battery, and a much larger display. So while I do think the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is still a much better device overall, it's not like the Revel 6 Pro doesn't have its own advantages. So in general, yeah, on one hand, if you want amazing flagship level performance, a really high quality camera that can record 4K videos, and great display quality, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE might be worth the money. But for everyone else, if you're really just looking for an affordable 5G phone that works, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is probably all you're really going to need. Now once again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the video description where I will be linking to several other videos about each phone, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.